Hi there, welcome to Jam Labs. Today, we're unboiling an egg. So the method that the researchers described to unboil an egg involved putting it through a process that put a tremendous amount of shear force on the proteins within the eggs. This is generally done using very complicated machinery and we're here in my dorm room now and I barely have this single centrifuge tube. So, we're gonna improvise. So what I, what I want to try here is spinning this sanding drum very, very quickly inside of the solution. And what I'm hoping is that the boundary between the solution and this sanding wheel will create those necessary shear forces. Will it work? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, we're going to use this first at the lowest setting, 5000 RPM, and we'll, we'll see what happens when I, when I first turn this on. <laughs> this <laughs> In three, two, one. Hey, look at that. That's a pretty cool vortex genie. All right. I'm gonna turn it up a little. <laughs> I'll be damned at how well that's working. All right, now what we're gonna do first before we go much further, is I'm going to check my Dremel to make sure we're not damaging it. It is pretty much dry. That's that's awesome news. I can't believe it. Look at that. That is that's dissolved quite nicely. I can't believe how well that worked. So if we look at this, we can see that there there is a um, there's a little bit of a boundary layer. If you want to catch it right there, where the the egg. I think we've got some larger clumps of egg down here that uh, were not quite destroyed. <laughs> We've got our solution of urea here. And then up up in this region, I believe we we're, we're probably are seeing quite a few bubbles and probably some foamy eggness as well, which is just really cool. Okay, let's cap that. Whew. Let's cap that, I got a little bit of urea on me. Um, and then we'll let this sit and see see what we see. In the meantime, let's, let's clean up. It's been a little bit over 24 hours now. We can see our egg slurry. And it's time to see if we actually succeeded in unboiling any eggs. Now, you might ask yourself, how are we going to test whether or not we've got unboiled eggs? That's an excellent question. Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to scramble the eggs back again. We're going to turn a boiled egg into a scrambled egg. And it's going to be awesome. So here is our re-scrambled eggs. I wanted to take it off before we uh, started burning it. As you can see, it already kind of browned up a little bit, um, but that's okay. These eggs kind of look like uh, jello, almost, but they're, they're marbled in a way. There's sort of this texture that looks like a whole bunch of sand stuck together, almost, if you look at it. And this is because we see the microparticles of our boiled egg being held together by our now cooked unboiled egg solution. This is very exciting. Because we see this sandy texture in our boiled eggs, gives us positive evidence towards the fact that we successfully unboiled an egg. And that's incredible. <laughs> so if you enjoyed today's episode, consider subscribing. We've got a lot more to come.